Hi, my name is Tony Latimer. I'm the Garden and Landscape Director here at Thanksgiving Point, and this is where we set up Luminaria. Um, I think the one thing that might surprise guests, it takes us over 9,000 hours to set everything up with our crews. Um, and that's just our crew alone. We have other crews from facilities that are moving in and building fire pits and moving in cottages and working on electricity. And so it takes a lot of time to set it all up. We start in August and that's something that I think a lot of people are surprised about that we have to begin that early to get it all set up. Um, we have a crew of about 35 people. Some of them are part-time and just spend a little bit of time setting up lights. Others spend all their time setting up lights. Because we have other duties in the gardens, we'll work every other day. And then we'll take four weeks off of Christmas decorating in September and October to plant our 250,000 bulbs and then we'll get back to doing trees full-time or decorating full-time. This year for setup because of COVID um, we're paying particular attention to going one way and keeping social distances. We've added an extra entrance so that people can bypass the visitor center as they exit and will be less crowded in there. So we've taken special precautions that way to just make sure it's safe and a good experience for everyone. Um, working with COVID has been a little bit more difficult, just keeping everyone separated and having to wear masks as we work together. Um, but it's not been too bad. Um, we spent a lot of time outside and so it's a, easy for us to social distance there. Um, one of our most difficult things to set up for Luminaria is our mosaic. Um, we need to put each of our luminaires in the exact same spot as we did the year before. And that gets difficult. We want to have the exact same spacing, but as you go down a hill and it gets steeper, and as you cross a path and cross a stream, um, that's something that's very difficult. Um, we've set up sections before and been just an inch off each pole, but by the time you're an inch off and you times that by 72 or something, you're way off. And so we have to pay particular attention. It takes us a couple weeks to get that exactly set up the way we need to. One of the new things that we have for 2020 is we have a Yeti that's taken up residence in our colorful caverns. And so you have to make special, uh, um, pay special attention and make sure you don't miss that. And as far as most rewarding, um, I think it's just the total thing when it just all comes together. There's so many moving parts and a lot of electronics that you have to trust. And when they all come together um, and work, um, that's always great because I'm always worried about that. We have over a million lights that will be on display. We haven't counted them exactly but our tower tree that sits in the middle of Luminaria has over 124,000 lights just in itself. And there's lots of strands all over and we keep adding every year and so it just keeps getting bigger. I think one of the special things about Luminaria is it has, I think, 27 different beats and each of them has a different feel, different music, different lighting sometimes even different smells. And so it's kind of an intimate experience as you go through it. It's not maybe as grand. I mean, the mosaic is really grand and big, but the rest of it is just kind of intimate and you have your own little experience inside that. And so that's what's really fun and unique about it, I think. At my house, I have three strands of lights that run on the ridge of my house. And so nobody knows that I know how to do lights. And I am so tired after doing this that I don't do anything else at my house. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you at Luminaria.